Hi, welcome back. I'm David Mustard and this week I'm visiting this gorgeous home in the beautiful town of Rye, just on the southeast coast of England. Now this is something as strange as an old ambulance station that the owners have converted into this absolutely stunning, comfortable, modern home with four bedrooms and three bathrooms and it sleeps as much as eight people. So bring your friends and your dogs. I will leave a link below to the booking site Dom Stay and Live so that you can take a look to see if there's any availability when you're ready to go away for a weekend or maybe a whole week. This home has been featured in Grand Designs magazine and has won awards for its beautiful architecture. This is just a few minutes from the Rye train station and just around the corner you find the high street as well so you have all the shops, pubs, restaurants and pretty much everything you need on your doorstep. Usually I show homes that are in the middle of nowhere, out in the countryside, very secluded. So I hope you like this, which is smack in the middle of a village. So a bit different than usual. Now let's take a look at this home. You can either arrive on train from London, which takes just over an hour, or by car, and there's parking on the premises. And when you approach the front of the house, you see the remnants of what was once an old ambulance station, mixed with the modern touches of how the home looks today. They've kept the brick exterior, and it's just beautiful. Straight ahead, we have six large windows that stretch across the front and looks into the dining area. And right next to that, on our right, is the old garage doors that was probably the entrance for the ambulance. And these ones you can open up towards the deck outside for that indoor-outdoor lifestyle. Out here in front, the decking area goes around the side of the house and you can have barbecues in the evening. If we have a look at the other side of the house, we find this amazing courtyard with two windows in the middle and two huge ones on the side of the building to bring in that light to the side of the house as well as the front. By the way, if you want to see more house tours on this channel, you should definitely subscribe and leave a little like, that's always very helpful, and we will soon have more videos for you. And let me know what kind of places you want us to show. We do already have a bunch of home tours on this channel. You should definitely check out my visit to Grover's Bow, that was a great one. I'll leave links below so you can have a look at that as well. Now, as soon as you step inside, you are met by a hallway that leads you over to the right into a huge open plan living space, which is great. And especially if there are up to six to eight people here, you might need some extra space. And let me tell you, this place is big, so there's no way you will ever feel cramped whilst here. And there's so much to do outside as well, so I'm sure you will probably be out all day and then come back in the evening and do some cooking or try one of the nearby restaurants or pubs. First, immediately to our left on the wall here, we have the old doors to the ambulance garage. This is such a great feature and nice that they reuse this by putting them up on the wall. They fit perfectly into this modern space and adds a rustic feel. In front of the wall, we have the massive wood dining table on top of this metal structure with 10 chairs to fit the whole group you're with for those big dinners in the evening. Right next to the dining table, we have the kitchen, and this kitchen is just striking. This is something that you don't see very often, but this huge kitchen island and breakfast bar here are just in this gray silvery sheet metal, almost like something you would see in a high-end restaurant kitchen. The rest of the kitchen has these beautiful cupboards in a gray wood with everything you need for your stay. This kitchen is fully equipped. And now, over to one of my favorite features of the house. And it's this wood burner right behind me that also works as a room divider. It is placed on this huge gray slab of concrete and just divides this space between the living room and the kitchen. And then there's some wood placed here next to it as well. I just really like this piece. It looks really great. Now into the living room, here we have a really nice large grey sofa. And I really like the design of this sofa because it looks light, it's not that heavy. In my opinion, I prefer this style over the more regular sofas where the fabric goes all the way down to the floor. Those sofas look heavier and like they take up more of the space whilst a sofa like this where you see the legs and the space underneath makes the whole room a lot airier. 
Anyway, sofa rant over. In here we also have a comfortable chair in white and this little coffee table that is literally just a slab of wood on top of three wheels that you can move around. Practical and cool. On the wall here there's also a TV for those cozy evenings when you just want to crawl up in the sofa and watch a romantic comedy, am I right or am I right? There's also plenty of books and board games here as well so you will never be bored. Now over to the other rooms. We've got four bedrooms here and the first one is on the ground floor and there's also a shower room right next to it. Outside the bedroom where you have the stairs we see the windows that we had a look at from the outside of the house. This gorgeous picture window and these two tall ones in front of the stairs. And these windows aren't placed here for the view but to bring in this gorgeous light from the outside. Continuing upstairs we have a bedroom directly to our left and across the hall we have this beautiful bathroom as well. And right next to this one you have another bedroom with these incredible doors that you open up with glass windows in them so this space can be completely opened up or closed. And this is more like the kids room, you have two twin beds here. And there's a desk outside here in the hallway as well in front of the window if you need to do some extra work that you didn't have time for during the week. The main bedroom is just at the far end of the house and has an ensuite shower room, a super king size bed and a lovely view of the town in two directions. And there's also a desk here in front of the window as well where you can sit. Anyway, now I think that's it for this tour of St. John. I will leave a link below to the Dom Stay and Live site so that you can book your own stay. Now let me know what your favorite part of this home is. Is it the location in the village, the incredible architecture or the stunning interior design? Let me know. And why not follow me on Instagram and TikTok where I post more details on this place and some behind the scenes of the shoots and stuff like that. And please subscribe to the channel if you're new here. We have a lot more house tours booked in for you to see. So let me know what you want to watch, architectural masterpieces, tree houses, holiday rentals, something else, let me know. And don't forget to leave a like on the video as always, that's very helpful. Thanks for hanging out today and see you in my next video. Bye bye.